Arizona State University students furious at Kyle Rittenhouse. Yes, Arizona, my home state. This one pains me because ASU has gone completely woke. And while it's evident, the fact that they are demanding that Kyle Rittenhouse be expelled from the university because he's a, a, a white supreme, you know what, R word. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into it. We'll stick with me, guys. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. And also, if you could, consider making a generous donation here to our ministry, guys. You can help out for as little as five bucks a month, PayPal or Patreon. We make sure to include up all the links for the YouTube videos there so you get alerted every time new content arrives. Also, you can comment censorship-free and send me direct messages. Another big reminder, sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off YouTube. We already post there. Some of you prefer Rumble over YouTube, but that's the case. Go check it out. All those videos are up there as well. A big thank you to everybody already contributing and for those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. So talk about woke in action. ASU students, multiple groups on campus have protests and rallies all scheduled for this week against Kyle Rittenhouse, that he be expelled from the university in light of the not guilty verdict that has just sent shockwaves through the media and through the universities and everywhere because they did not get the verdict that they wanted. And well, we know as, you know, in the past when these, you know, cases don't go their way, well, they act like little babies and brats and they pitch fits and temper tantrums, so on and so forth. And so for Kyle Rittenhouse, now keep in mind, he is enrolled at Arizona State. However, he is only doing online classes at this time. He is not even on the campus at all. He did, however, express an interest that he would like to attend classes there in person, that he'd be looking into, you know, moving to Arizona and, and attending there in person. Now, if that were the case, I mean, this guy would need security with him, you know, 24-7 uh, because uh, these students here would be just, uh, all over him. Uh, not in a good way. But listen to these demands that they're saying now. Not only do they want Rittenhouse to be expelled, and again, he's right now just an online student, <laughs> but they want the school to come out and issue a public uh, uh, reprimand and denounce Kyle Rittenhouse as a person and say that people like him are not welcome on ASU's campus because of what he stands for, because he's a white supreme, you know what, and an R word, this and that. They want the school to also, <laughs> and this just goes right along with the rest of their crazy agendas, they also want the campus to defund the campus police <laughs> and redirect those funds towards the school's multicultural center, which was the scene a couple of months ago where uh, a couple of deranged students directed some uh, very racist language towards some white students and told them that they were not welcome there at the multicultural center. They are absolutely beside themselves at this point. And if ASU, if, if the heads of the school there actually came out and bowed down to these demands, wow. I would advise them this. You better think twice before doing something like that because right now, well, you can better believe that Rittenhouse and all of his attorneys are getting their lawsuits ready for all those in the media, even all the way up to Biden himself for the defamatory things that was said about him, lying about him. And if ASU in any way decided to expel Rittenhouse, well, they would have a nice lawsuit on their hands as well. I don't think this is something that they are going to want to touch because we know that much like the case with Nick Sandman, Kyle Rittenhouse, Sandman got a lot of money from these corporations, these news outlets, the same things that happened for Rittenhouse. So I wouldn't go that far and try to expel him because it's not going to work out so good for you. As far as these students raging and crying and, and demanding that he be expelled, you're just going to have to deal with it. The guy's not even on your campus yet. But can you just imagine the heads exploding on them if he does, in fact, decide to attend classes in person? Wow. Now, this state will be rocked for sure. Uh, but that's what's going on with that. And look, there's always 
uh, prophetic, spiritual significance. That's what we do here at this channel. We break this all down. This is a rebellion of evil against good. Because right now, they're doing exactly what the Bible said. They're calling evil good and good evil. And they want what Rittenhouse did to be considered evil. Defending yourself. They don't want you to have that right. And of course, if they can win in that area... Well, then that would take those rights away from people like you and me. And so we're living in very prophetic times right now where a spirit of lawlessness is upon this earth. And that's all getting ready for the soon coming arrival of the Antichrist, who the Bible even calls the lawless one. So the spirit is already here. It's just a matter of time before the man himself arrives on the scene. Now, we don't want to leave any video without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior because he's coming soon. You see it, ladies and gentlemen. This world is crashing down right now. And your only hope is in the Lord. And I want to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to accept Christ. You could do this prayer in your own words, but I'll give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. Here's the first thing that you want to do. And for some, this is the most difficult, but that's to acknowledge that you're a sinner. It's something that we all are, but... God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but turn from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Maybe you attend ASU. You can let me know about these angry individuals at Rittenhouse. Don't forget also the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk really soon.